This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a long range wireless temperature monitoring system using MLX9614 infrared contactless temperature sensor, a pair of Arduino boards, SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules, SSD1306 I2C supported OLED display module a potentiometer and a 5 volt buzzer. This is my third video on the MLX9614 temperature sensor and is entirely based on my previous two tutorials. In my first video on the MLX9614, I covered the extreme basics including the MLX9614 IR temperature sensor technical specifications, its calibration using the emissivity value how to use it with Arduino and display the temperature readings on the OLED display module. So, if you're just getting started with the MLX9614 non-contact infrared temperature sensor, then I must say you should definitely watch my first video on the MLX9614 temperature sensor. In my second video, I use the MLX9614 infrared temperature sensor with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So, if you are thinking of monitoring the temperature from any part of the world using MLX9614 temperature sensor, then you should watch my second video. Now, let's get back to our original topic. Here is a prototype model of my long range wireless temperature monitoring system. This is the transmitter side along which the MLX9614 temperature sensor and SX1278 LoRa transceiver module are connected. The Arduino reads the MLX9614 temperature sensor and sends the temperature readings to the remote side Arduino using the SX1278 LoRa module. And this is the receiver side. It has been connected with a potentiometer, an OLED display module, a 5 volt buzzer and an SX1278 LoRa transceiver module. We use the potentiometer to set the threshold value. This way, when the temperature exceeds, the set value the buzzer will turn on. Now let's kick off our practical demonstration. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. If you want to start with Ultim Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. I have powered up the transmitter as well as the receiver side. You can view temperature readings in Celsius along with the set value on the OLED display module. Right now the buzzer is off because the temperature reading is below the set value. Now let's go ahead and measure the temperature. You can see that each time when the temperature exceeds the set value the buzzer is automatically turned on. Now let's go ahead and change the set value. Since this project is based on the long range LoRa transceiver modules and the MLX9614 itself is a non-contact temperature sensor, so because of these outstanding features, this project can be used for monitoring the temperature of any particular object or human etc. All you need is to 
focus the sensor and set the threshold value. The receiver side is completely portable. You can keep it with yourself or you can fix it inside your room or office. It obviously depends on you how you plan to use it. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the transmitter side circuit diagram. The VCC of the LoRa module is connected with 3.3 volt of the Arduino. The MISO pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino pin 12. The MOSI pin is connected with pin 11. The SCK pin of the LoRa module is connected with pin 13. The NSS pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 10 and the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's ground. The VCC and ground pins of the MLX9614 infrared temperature sensor are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Arduino, while the SDA and SCL pins of the MLX9614 temperature sensor are connected with the A4 and A5 pins of the Arduino. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. On the left side, you can see a 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. We use this regulated 5 volts to power up the Arduino and all the other electronics. This is the receiver side circuit diagram. The LoRa module connections with the Arduino and the 5 volt regulated power supply wiring remain exactly the same. The SDA and SCL or SCK pins of the SSD1306 OLED display module are connected with the A4 and A5 pins of the Arduino, while the VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volts and ground pins. A potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. Digital pin 3 on the Arduino is used to control the 5 volt buzzer. We use a 10 kilo ohm resistor and 2N2222 NPN transistor to control the buzzer. The 10 kilo ohm resistor and transistor make the driver circuit. Now let's take a look at the programming. This wireless temperature monitoring system is based on two programs. This program is written for the transmitter side, whereas this program is written for the receiver side. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Let's first start with the transmitter side programming. I developed this code by combining the codes of my previous two projects. So for a detailed explanation, watch my video on the LoRa SX127 two-way communication in my getting started video on the MLX90614 temperature sensor. I didn't change anything. I'm using the same LoRa nodes addresses. The code inside the setup function remains exactly the same. I'm using the same code which I previously used for reading the MLX90614 temperature sensor. This time I'm sending the temperature readings using the LoRa transceiver module. I must remind you once again, if you want to learn things in detail, then you should watch my other videos on the LoRa and MLX9614 temperature sensor. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. Maximum of the code I have already explained in my previous videos. The only addition is that this time I'm using the potentiometer to set the threshold value. I simply read the potentiometer and then I map its value to define the range. The temperature reading received from the transmitter side is printed on the OLED display module and is also compared with the set value and then accordingly the buzzer is turned on or turned off. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. <laughs>